Hey, how's it going? I uh, just wanted to do another quick video about the escape window. If you watched my last video, you saw my struggles with getting this installed without the trim ring. That's a whole thing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my last episode. But I was seeing online that with some of these exit windows, you push them out, you lift them up, and if you lift them high enough, they'll actually detach. And that's because the hinges on these windows, they're a two-piece hinge. It's not like a traditional door hinge with a pin. Look up hurricane hinge if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, but I wasn't having any luck getting it to disconnect by lifting it up. Once I got the window past a 45 degree angle, I could feel a little bit of resistance in the hinge, like I would bend it if I went any further. So yeah, maybe in an emergency, if you were pushing up on that window in a hurry, I could definitely see it bending and popping off. And in that scenario, that's probably what you would actually want to happen. So even if that is one of the ways it's designed to come off, that's not the way you want to take it off if you want to maintain the functionality of the window in the future. So what I realized at this point was once you lift the window to say 30 to 45 degrees, since it is a two piece hinge, you should be able to just slide the window to the left or to the right. But first you have to remove one of two screws. They're on either side of the hinge and they're acting as stoppers. So when the window's open, the window can't accidentally move to the left or to the right. So I removed the right screw. Next, I'm going to lift the window a little bit and attempt to slide the window to the right. So the trick is finding the right angle because the two piece hinge, it didn't seem like it wanted to slide when the window was lower. So it wasn't until I got up closer to 45 degrees that it seemed like it wanted to slide more freely. Now, I definitely don't think this is something that the manufacturer wants you to do, but if you're in a pickle like me and you're trying to install the window without the trim ring, or maybe you're trying to get a broken window pane replaced, this is how you do it. So I decided to glue my window in and I did not use the trim ring, which was kind of a disaster. <laughs> I would still highly recommend using the optional trim ring. It's just gonna make the job so much easier. And I realize this is an unlikely scenario, but if you're somebody that wants to glue a window in and for whatever reason you don't have a trim ring, this is another option for you if you're installing an exit or escape window. So here you can see the design of the hinge or one half of it anyway but it's basically an open C shape. This is what makes it possible, I believe, if you were to lift the window high enough, that would pry open without much effort and detach from the other side of the hinge. But now I'm going to attempt to put the window back in. Should be easier than taking it off, but still you have to find that magic angle. And if you don't get it right, not only does it make it harder to slide it back in, but you take off a little bit of the paint on the mating surfaces. So definitely have to take your time. I wouldn't recommend doing this unless you absolutely have to, because I can see if you don't get it right, you could bend the hinge and it might not work properly, but it is possible. And hopefully this helps somebody out.